Hey guys, Scrublord here, and in this episode we're going to take a look at your inventory sheets. It seems like a lot of people are confused about a lot of the numbers they see related to their shields and weapons. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that and show you uh, what they all mean. First, let's take a look at the different types of shields. You have a small buckler, and that parries, and has quite good parry frames. So when you see someone holding on to a buckler, uh, they might be looking to parry you. Medium shield has much better defense than a small shield, um, and it also parries, most of them. And then a great shield has the best defense physically, and instead of parrying, it does a shield bash. Like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the inventory sheet specifically. Now, when you're looking at your inventory sheet, you see this is a buckler plus six. It is a small shield. It strikes. I guess you don't really ever strike with it, unless you two-handed it and you're named Lobos Jr. Um, I'm not too worried about the attack power. I'm looking at the guard absorption. It has a physical of only 49 and a stability of only 39. So it is quite a weak shield. And then when you get all the way to the bottom, um, you see that it has attribute requirements of dex uh, strength of 7 and dexterity of 13. Let's look at the next shield. This one you're a little more interested in. Most people should be able to use this. It only requires 14 strength. Um, it has a physical guard absorption of 100, which is quite nice. It is quite light at a weight of only 5, which helps keep your rate weight ratio under 70. Under 30 if you want to fast roll. And then this one happens to be particularly good for fire absorption. It has an 89 in fire absorption. And then for our last shield, you see it requires quite high strength at 40. Um, and it has very, very good uh, stability in particular and across the guard absorption. The stability is really what you're looking at with this particular shield though. Stability affects how much stamina you lose when you get hit while blocking. Uh, having a shield with high stability and by upgrading your shields you increase their stability. But having a shield with high stability will be very beneficial to you in fights. You will be staggered less, you will have, be able to manage your stamina better, and just in general, it's it's an often overlooked stat, and people don't upgrade their shields because they don't really see the point, and there is a point, believe me. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our weapon stats. This here, well, let's start with a regular Uchi Katana plus 10. This guy is quite high level, as you can see at 193. He's on an NG plus 4 or 5, I can't remember, I haven't played him for a bit. Um, but I'll take this guy all the way to plus 7. Anyways, this has a physical attack power of 230 plus 172. That 172 is called the uh, scaling <coughs> bonus. Excuse me. And what that refers to is if you look down at attribute bonus, you'll see it has a D in strength and a C in dexterity. The lower the number, the better the scaling, meaning that when I put points into dexterity, I'm going to increase that 172, that scaling bonus of the weapon. So um, underneath there you see attribute requirement of 11 and 16. So this is kind of a starter weapon too. You should be able to use this pretty early on. But let's see how our scaling changes when we change the weapon. Here we're looking at a sharp Uchi Katana, which means it has been infused by Andre with a sharp gem. And that, what that's done is it's changed the dexterity scaling from a C to a B, which is better. And it's changed the uh, strength scaling from a D to an E, which is worse. So it's kind of shifted that particular weapon towards dexterity in case you had a character that was higher in, much higher in dexterity than in strength. And then when we look at the last one, we're looking at a Fire Uchi Katana plus 10. And if you look on the, under there, the attribute bonus, everything has been completely erased. It has a base damage of 181 physical and 181 fire. Early on in the game, these are excellent weapons to use because they tend to do much more damage because, frankly, you don't have a lot of strength or dexterity or intelligence or faith in order to really take advantage of uh, the scaling of the weapons. Um, um, so those fire weapons early on, at least when you're not attacking fire type of enemies, are, are really, really valuable and you should look into them. 
Um, looking across the screen, I'm not sure that there's anything else that tends to trip people up. The weight ratio, uh, make sure you're always under either 30 or 70. 70 is the absolute max. You never want to go to 70.1 or you will fat roll and the game will become much, much more difficult. Okay, so that's it for the inventory screens, I think. Um, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to watch my next video. Thank <laughs> you.